Welcome back to Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am Rocky, your host, in my mother's kitchen as always. That's my mom's head down in the corner. She dropped the lens cap. We are doing a couple more of the Southern Essentials videos today. We're going to do, I don't know what number they are. I left my list at home, but I will put that here on the screen somewhere. It'll at least be in the title. We're gonna do fried fish. Southern, it's catfish, of course. So I've got some catfish fillets. And to start, what I wanna do, so I'm gonna get these, you don't have to soak them in buttermilk, but it does help make the uh, breading stick a little bit. And because we're in the south, I'm gonna add some hot stuff to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha, and I'm gonna add some, for me, the uh, Chipotle Tabasco. And that's gonna help bring a little heat to them. All right, and seeing I forgot a spoon, I'll have to stir it with the tip of my knife, oops. And splash it all over the countertop for mom to clean later. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take the catfish fillets and I'm gonna let them soak in that. Make sure they all get a little dip on there. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start the next recipe for the fried potatoes that are gonna go with this. That'll be a separate video. But I just wanna get these soaking here a little bit so they can get a little bit of that uh, Tabasco flavor, a little bit of the heat soaked up into the fish. And then we'll come back and we'll finish this after I get done frying some potatoes. So I'll be right back. While my potatoes are frying, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the breading for the catfish. Uh, you can buy pre-seasoned. This here is an unseasoned. It's just a New Orleans season. It says seasoned fish fry, but there's really not a whole lot of seasoning in there. Uh, it is mainly cornmeal plus some seasoning. Uh, enriched yellow cornmeal, salt and spices to include red pepper, and garlic and onion powder, lemon juice concentrate. So it's, it is seasoned, but not very much. Um, there's, they do make Cajun seasoned ones too. Zatarans makes their own fish kind of stuff. Um, but I like to season mine on my own. I've got my own special blend of seasoned salt that I make. So I'm gonna put some of that on there. It's got chipotle powder, chili pepper, uh, ancho chili pepper powder, some cayenne, salt, uh, some onion and garlic powder, not a whole lot of that. So I'm gonna add just a little more onion powder, a little more garlic powder, and I'm gonna add some black pepper to it. And if I think I'm gonna need more, I do have just some straight up cornmeal to add to the mix. But that is gonna be my seasoning mix. Let me get it stirred together, and if I think I need to add more, I'll add more seasoning. But that's basically how I do my fish, uh, catfish specifically, Southern style. Uh, we do a Yankee beer batter because uh, we had walleye as well, so the beer batter is totally different than this, but that's not a southern style, so that doesn't qualify for the southern essentials. But it's, for the most part, cornmeal and seasoning. Uh, you can buy a, what's a harina or a masa mix. Um, I think it's masa. And that's a corn flour used to make corn tortillas. Uh, it's a little bit finer cut than this. I have mixed cornmeal and, um, you know, the, the, the coarse cornmeal and the corn flour and gotten a good mixture as well but I can live with that so keep going on these potatoes and when we're ready for the fish I'll be back for that all right time for the fish they have been soaking for about an hour in the buttermilk and hot sauce I've got the coating already mixed up and I've got uh, let's see how deep is that about a little over half an inch of oil in the cast iron pan at uh, 330 ish degrees. So I'm going to take one of the pieces out of the soak. I'm going to shake it off a little bit and I'm going to push it down into the coating. And I can sprinkle a little on top, make sure it's all nice patted in. We'll do three of these at a time for this first batch. I 
you can do about three pieces of fish comfortably in a larger cast iron. Or depends on really depends on the size of your cast iron. If you got a smaller one, just do two. If you have a bigger one, you might even be able to get away with four. Depends on how big your fillets are. If you're doing uh, cutting them into fingers, or if you're cutting them into just uh, nuggets, or if you're doing a whole catfish um, on the not filleted off, but the whole catfish on the the skeleton. And then, uh, if you're doing that way, you probably want a little bit deeper oil in your pan. All right, that should be good. Good coverage on there. Make sure my oil didn't get away from me. Creeping up there to about 340. That's gonna be fine when I put the fish in, it'll drop in temp. Lay the fish away from you into the pan so it doesn't splash on you. Put this one in this way. And that's it. Gonna let these go until they're golden brown on the one side. I'm gonna give them a flip and cook them through to the other side. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, time to flip. I'm gonna be gentle so you don't knock the breading off. And continue cooking. But the only thing not southern about this is I didn't catch these. I will admit these were uh, Walmart frozen catfish. They were a little soft because they're frozen, so bear that in mind. My plays are tend to want to fall apart. This one actually came out real good though. Stays in one piece, nice and whole. So we'll go for that one. Go ahead and break it in half because she's going to destroy hers. Go ahead and ruin it. <laughs> Ketchup on fish, folks. Well, I don't like fish. That ain't southern. I ain't oh my, southern. How much ketchup? <laughs> That's like a quarter cup of ketchup. At least. <laughs> Cheers. Oh no, I got ketchup on mine. I'll throw it out. I like that a lot. I love uh, catfish. I'd like to try it smoked. I don't know about smoke for a catfish, but that breading with that seasoning, I think that breading is fantastic with that, with my fire salt in it. Mm. The breading is the best part. Yeah, she really doesn't like fish. I mean, really, they're up there with bananas and oatmeal. <laughs> but I love that. Um, I gotta give myself a pass on this one. Uh, like I said, this is the Southern Fried. Last week we did a beer batter fish for our walleye. Uh, I've done like a shore lunch kind of soft batter that's not cornmeal, it's a flour base, which is good on crappie. But I think when people think Southern Fried catfish or Southern Fried fish in general, they're thinking this cornmeal base coating on here so this is definitely southern style fried fish and because it's catfish i think that even makes it more to the point that it's southern well the breading on there is nice and crisp yeah um, that's the best part of the fish yeah you can add whatever flavors you want i like that little bit this little bit smoky and spiciness from the chipotle powder uh, pepper powder and the, i use a uh, smoked paprika in my salt so it gives a little bit of a smokiness to it a little bit of salt to it, a little salty. I love that. Definitely two big thumbs up on that for me. I'm not going to ask her because it is fish. 
But that decision. <laughs> uh, I know this was higher up on the list, somewhere around seven or five, somewhere in that area. I don't have the list with me, but I will take this off the list, which now leaves us two recipes to go, uh, fried chicken, and I got to finish up on the mashed potato list. We did one video for the mashed potatoes already, which was a which potato to use, and we decided russet was it. And now we got to decide what we're going to use for the mix-ins. So we'll have the second part of that and uh, fried chicken. But I looked for fried chicken and I come up with so many different southern style chicken that I'm going to have to do three videos on fried chicken. Uh, you think Dad will be okay with that? Probably. Stay tuned. We got those two coming up later. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.